Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about types of data in data mining course, machine learning course and big data analytics course. It is one of the most important concept that can be asked in several examinations and several interviews. Generally, there are three types of data. First one is unstructured data. Second one is structured data. Third one is semi-structured data. These are the three types of data. First one is unstructured data. Unstructured data generally consists of audio data, video data, test data, images data, social media post data, numbers. So these are all comes under unstructured data. Throughout the world, how much data is generated among that data, 80 to 90 percentage of data is unstructured data. Only 10 to 20 percentage of data is structured data. So structured data can be represented in the form of tables. A table is nothing but collection of rows and columns. Okay, so only 10 to 20 percentage of data is structured data. 80 to 90 percentage of data is unstructured data. We can see that how much data that is generated within one hour throughout the world. Among them, so most of the data is unstructured data. Okay. Examples for unstructured data, Facebook data, Instagram data, YouTube data, Google data. So these are all our unstructured data. We can see that in Facebook, some images are there, some video files are there, some audio files are there, some test data is there, some social media posts are there some numbers are there. So because of that reason, we can say that Facebook data is unstructured data. In the same way, Instagram data is also unstructured data. YouTube data is also unstructured data. Google data is also unstructured data. We can easily extract the unstructured data from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Google. So that, hence we can say that it is very easy to extract unstructured data. Next, there is no predefined structure. That is nothing but we do not follow any uh, predefined structure for representing the unstructured data. That is we do not follow any predefined structure for representing unstructured data. Next, no data model. We do not follow any data model for representing unstructured data. We already know that some data models, entity relationship model, relational data model, some data models are there. We do not follow any data model for representing unstructured data. Next one is data is irregular and ambiguous. Okay, so unstructured data does not contain any predefined format. Okay, and also unstructured data is ambiguous. Ambiguous is nothing but same data is there in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Google. Which data is correct? So we do not know. Because of that reason, we can say that 
unstructured data is ambiguous. Ambiguous is nothing but confusion. Which one is correct? Okay. Unstructured data is irregular. Unstructured data does not follow any predefined format. Because of the reason, we can say that unstructured data is irregular. Next one. 80 to 90 percentage of data is unstructured. Whatever the data that is generated throughout the world within one hour, so among that data, 80 to 90 percentage of data is unstructured data. Hence, we can say that most of the data that is generated throughout the world is unstructured data. Next one. We already know that some survey forms are there. Suppose any FDP or any workshop or any webinar is conducted. So after completing that webinar or FDP, so we can take, uh, they can take the feedback forms. They can take the survey forms. Okay. Survey forms also contains the unstructured data because in that survey forms, some radio buttons are there, some check boxes are there, some dialogue boxes are there, uh, some fill in the blanks are there. So some choices are there. Okay, whenever these different types are there, that survey forms comes under unstructured data. Next one, unstructured data provides a lot of information because unstructured data contains audio files, video files, images, text, numbers, messages, social media posts. Because of that reason, we can say that unstructured data provides a lot of information. Even though it provides a lot of information, but it is very complex to analyze unstructured data. For that purpose, we have to use artificial intelligence techniques and machine learning techniques. Next one is uh, previously, we have to use only structured data. That means the data can be represented in the form of tables. A table is nothing but collection of rows and columns. Hence, we can say that whatever the data previously we are using, that data is structured data. But nowadays, so unstructured data is a most useful kind of data. In the structured data, we do not store the images. In the structured data, we do not store the audio files. We do not store the video files. Only uh, the data can be represented in the form of tables. That data can be called as structured data. But Today's data, that is the uh, Facebook data, Instagram data, YouTube data, Google data, contains audio files, video files, messages, uh, numbers, text data, social media posts. Okay, so these data available, that data comes under unstructured data. So today, uh, unstructured data is a most useful kind of data when compared to structured data. Previously, we have to use only structured data, but nowadays technology is improved day by day. Unstructured data is most useful kind of data. To analyze that unstructured data, we have to use artificial intelligence techniques, machine learning techniques. Okay, so this is the description about unstructured data. Next, we can go for structured data. The second one is structured data. So structured data can be stored in tabular format. So structured data 
can be stored in the tabular format. We already know that tabular format is nothing but table. Table is nothing but set of rows and columns. Hence, we can say that structured data can be stored in the form of rows and columns. Next one. Structured data can be represented by using a predefined structure. So, that means we have to use a predefined structure for representing the structured data so that we can clearly define the structured data. So, structured data is very clearly defined because structured data can be represented by using a predefined structure. Next point. Structured data can be stored in a predefined data model. So, we have to use a predefined data model for representing the structured data. Here, a relational data model we have to use for representing the structured data. Relational data model, in that relational data model, data can be represented in the form of tables. Okay, for example, Excel files and SQL databases. So, Excel file contains only structured data. We can clearly define the uh, data in the Excel files. We can easily understand the data from the Excel files. And also SQL databases. In the SQL database, the data can be represented in the form of tables. That is nothing but in the form of rows and columns. Next one. In structured data, rows and columns are related to each other. So, in structured data, the data can be represented in the form of rows and columns. Rows and columns are related to each other. So, see this example. This is one table. This table contains four columns. Roll number, name, address, phone number. And it contains only uh, one row. That row contains one at one is the roll number. Sai is the name. Shiridi is the address. 9492704500 is the phone number. Here, so rows and columns are related to each other in structured data. That means 101 is the roll number. Sai is the name. Shady is the address. 9492704500 is the phone number. So, in structured data, rows and columns are related to each other. It is clearly, it is very clearly uh, defined. We can use a predefined data model for representing the structured data. We have to use a predefined structure for representing the structured data. Next one. So, structured data contains a proper view and understanding of data. So, it contains a proper view and we can easily understanding whatever the data that is present in the form of rows and columns. Next one. Structured data is stored in relational databases. So, how uh, structured data is stored? So, structured data is stored in the form of rows and columns. These rows and columns can be formed as one table. These tables are stored in the relational databases. To manage the data that is available in the relational databases, we have to use a software called RDMS, Relational Database Management System. 
relational database management system is a software that is used to manage the data that is available in the relational databases relational databases contains a structured data that can be represented in the form of rows and columns here rows and columns are related to each other we have to use a predefined structure and a predefined data model for representing the structured data so these are the points comes under structured data next the third category is semi structured data so semi structured data is nothing but some data is structured some data is unstructured that means it is a combination of both structured and unstructured data so it contains both structured and unstructured data hence we can say that it falls between structured and unstructured data that is combination of both okay semi structured data is a combination of structured and unstructured data examples xml xml is nothing but extensible markup language so here it contains both structured and unstructured data emails emails also semi structured data and world wide web www it also contains the semi structured data so it contains some structured data and some unstructured data emails also contains some structured data and un some unstructured data extensible markup language also contains some structured data and some unstructured data okay so this is the description about the types of data i hope all of you understanding this video you can easily understanding which data is a structured data which data is unstructured data which data is a semi structured data after watching this video thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel divela srinivasa rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you thank you one and all for watching this video